So tell me, tell me in the comments right now in the very beginning of the video, are you, are you happy with the output of these light tubes? I feel like the past couple of videos were like, oh, it looks great. Oh, it's way too bright. Oh, too dark now. Well, just overpowering, trying to dial in the setups here. Anyway, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be talking about some more mobile filmmaking accessories instead of our usual brand, which we talked about, Beast Grip. This is a fantastic device, very versatile, universal cage, fits basically any phone, but you're not really gonna put your daily phone in here and exactly put it in your pocket, right? And so I reached out to Polar Pro because their new Light Chaser Pro series for the iPhone 12 caught my eye and I just had to take a look. Whoosh. All right, so here we have it. This is the Light Chaser Pro case. We have a little grip handle and we have one of their variable NDs. Pretty basic kit. Now you can get some more advanced options. For example, the handle, there's one that comes with like a Bluetooth uh, shutter button, which is really cool. You can get different types of NDs as well as a mist filter, which basically mimics what the filter on this lens is doing, uh, which if you want to see the effects of that. Right now the filter's on. See how like the light, the glow goes away? Ooh, misty. All right, so that's basically what the mist does. Now first, let's talk about the case. You see, I am not a big case person. Here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've been using the Moft uh, MagSafe wallet on the back. Freaking love this wallet. But besides that, I am a total caseless guy. I don't like cases, but if it can add a lot of functionality, I'm more open to it. So I really like how this still feels pretty thin, pretty durable. I really like on the inside here, uh, not only the branding, but it's got this incredibly, it's basically a microfiber cloth velvety thing on the inside there. So we just slide our phone in. Love a case that just fits it easily. And it definitely keeps to the thinness of the phone. This, this really doesn't feel like it adds too much. Now let's talk about the grip here. There's this gold little button right here that you slide up and then push in and you can see uh, how it kind of opens the claws. And on the case on either side, there's these little uh, kind of divots uh, where you can attach it. And so you're going to put the button kind of facing down. It depends on the grip hold that you'll see. Um, so now you're kind of holding it like this. But even on the base grip, you get two quarter 20, so you could attach a light up here, you could attach a microphone. Again, they have their variable ND. I love the portability, I freaking love this little case. It opens up here and on the inside, you have yet another cover. Uh, so it's only half covered on the back, you can see the ND, so I wanna keep my fingers off of that. Peels away to reveal, uh, this is the three to five stop variable ND. So the way this attaches is instead of having to find a really small thread and you know spin it a bunch of times, here you just kind of align it with the two holes and you slide till it locks and now you're good in there. And there's a little arrow on top that I can see. So stop three, four, five. That's kind of the little setup. Get that out of the way. In terms of minimalistic Filmmaking gear, this is kind of winning in my book right now. I am obsessed with this grip handle. It's really hard to film on a phone kind of to find the best thing because, I mean, you can film like this, which is fine for like filming family and stuff. But if you're running around, you know, it's not a very good grip. You can try to get like the traditional camera hold on it. But again, it's still not fully secure in your hand and attaching that thing just makes it a freaking dream. Like I love that, you know, I can just wave this around and I just feel fully comfortable. It's not gonna fly out of my hands. And again, how quick release it is, it's great. And like I said, there's multiple threads. I feel like I'm on QVC right now or something. I'm really not trying to sound so salesy, but I just really the past like week that I've been using this have absolutely fallen in love with it. So maybe now's a good moment to say that like Pull It Pro is in sponsoring this video. I'm not being paid to say any of this. Uh, they did send this out to me to check out, but genuinely are my honest thoughts. And normally stuff like this, if I didn't think it was super cool, I wouldn't bother making a video on it. So yeah, but anyway, you can uh, change the positions of the grip 
it, you'd have to have really long finger. I don't really know why you'd put it in the middle of the phone like that. And I also like if you are a vlogger, especially with the wide angle lenses, you can actually switch this around. And so now you have a really comfortable vlogging position um, to where, again, the phone is not going to fall out of your hands super easily. Without the grip, again, you're holding it like this, which if I shake too hard right now, that this phone's going flying. If you hold like this, your hand is on the screen. You're probably gonna hit record, like turn on the camera so you guys can even see. There you go. So now I'm vlogging, doing my thing, and I've got a really good grip. And again, variable ND, so if it if the lighting changes at all, I can go in here. Now the other really cool thing about the phone case is the fact that it is MagSafe compatible. So remember how I said I use the Moft wallet case? Yep, still can use that uh, on the back of here. So it's there. I will say it is pretty much just as strong as attached to the phone. So if you shake it super hard, it's gonna come off. I've been using a MagSafe wallet now for a couple months and it's honestly a dream. I've never had it fall off in an actual like serious case scenario. I literally have to like demonstrate uh, shaking it off. So it's very strong there if you don't have that. And you got the MagSafe charger. Again, that's still gonna work. It's fine. In terms of the Light Chaser Pro, this is a very simple kit. They have a bunch of other accessories, both for mobile stuff as well as, you know, legit cinema cameras, map boxes, thing, filters, things like that, uh, including stuff from Peter McKinnon. So you can check that all out in the description down below. But in terms of mobile filmmaking, um, I, I really like this. So um, if you guys want me to test out more of your stuff, including like the mist filter or the Bluetooth thing, I, I would, I, I'd be down. Until then, there you guys have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the description down below. How do you think this compares to other brands like Beast Grip or Moment? Cause I mean, there's pros and cons to each and every one of them. But uh, in terms of this one specifically, I'm a fan. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more content coming your way. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great rest of your day. I don't wanna set this, oh, I can set it on the screen because it won't touch the screen because it's got a case on it.